And welcome back, everyone, for week 15 of the 2019 NFL season. I've been struggling with the picks recently. You know, I I look at the lines on Tuesday, and I have my initial reaction. And I, by Thursday, by the time I filmed the video, I changed my mind. I'm going to stick with my my big beer gut instinct, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at teams with momentum and with momentum against them. Billy B uh, won't be joining us this week, so there's no college picks as well. Here are my picks for this week. The first game we're going to look at has the Miami Dolphins going to New York, where the Giants are three and a half point favorites at home. Oh, these two teams are both terrible, but at least Miami is playing well. The Giants kept it close for a while last week, but you know, um, three and a half points has just too many points for a team that I can't even remember the last time they won a game. So let's take those points. Let's take Miami plus three and a half. The second game we're going to look at has Seattle going to Carolina where the Panthers are six-point dogs at home. Seattle laid an egg last week on the road. I had the, uh, the Seahawks to win, but you know what? They, they played against the Rams, and the Rams kind of have their number at home. It seems every year they, they beat them, even when the Seahawks were going to the Super Bowl every year. Carolina, meanwhile, is in free fall, and uh, I just, especially on their defense, is just gone AWOL. Seattle scores a lot of points, and I think they'll run away with this one. So let's lay the points, and let's take the Seattle Seahawks. Minus six. Now, the total in this game is 48. As I mentioned, I think this will be a high-scoring game. Let's take over 48. The third game we're going to look at has my Minnesota Vikings going to L LA, where the Chargers are two-and-a-half-point dogs at home. The Chargers are just a much better road team than they are at home and my Vikings are one of the top 10 teams I believe two and a half points is a very small number to pay for a Minnesota team that can pass the ball and run the ball so let's lay the points let's take my Vikings minus two and a half the next game has Jacksonville Jaguars going to Oakland where the Raiders are six and a half point favorites at home wow six and a half points that's a lot of lot for an Oakland team but you know what Jacksonville there's, there's a team that's, uh, speaking of no momentum, this is a team that's just fallen uh, off, the, off the rails. This is the last game for the Raiders in Oakland. I think the fans are going to be pumped up. I think the team is going to be pumped up. I think Oakland's going to win this game going away. Jacksonville can't stop the run. Um, I think the Raiders will be able to run the ball effectively against them. So you know what? Let's lay the points and let's take the Oakland Raiders minus six and a half. A couple of straight-up plays I want to talk about. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to Detroit. Uh, Detroit talked about struggling. They're down to their third-string quarterback. Um, most of their their uh, you know, elite players, their, their receivers, the running backs, they're all hurt. Um, they may have even given up on the coach. Um, the the hook scares me. The the, uh, the line in this game is three and a half. I was tempted to take Tampa Bay and, and lay the three and a half, but that hook scares me. But you know what? I do like them to win this game straight up. The Buccaneers, are, I think I've won three straight. They're a better road team than they are at home. So let's take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers straight up. And here's an interesting game. Houston is at Tennessee, where the uh, Texans are three-point favorites at home. You almost can't blame the Texans for losing last week. It was a bit of a sandwich game. They'd come off that win against the Patriots, and then they had Tennessee on deck. So you could sort of forgive them for laying an egg last week against Denver. Uh, a couple of things, though. You know, uh, Tennessee um, played a better game last week, and they were on the road. Uh, as a matter of fact, the um, uh, Houston's played their last three games at home. This will be their first road game in a month. Tennessee won on the road against a better team, the Raiders. Uh, they had the Houston Texans on deck, too. It didn't seem to bother them. Uh, it's ever since Tannehill took over for Tennessee, this has been a, a much different team. Whether they cover three points or, or not, I don't know. These two teams are going to be playing in a couple of weeks. So I think Tennessee wins this game, maybe loses the game in a couple of weeks. But for this game, let's take the Tennessee Titans straight up. For the Let's Take the Man's Money Parlay Play and the teaser, I know we've been doing six games. For fun, let's do seven this week. We'll go with Miami plus three and a half, Seattle minus six, Oakland minus six and a half, Minnesota minus two and a half, the Seattle Carolina over 48, 
Tampa Bay on the money line, Tennessee on the money line, a $25 bet will get us $1,573.68. And for the teaser play, we'll tease Miami to plus nine and a half. We'll tease Seattle down to a pick'em, Oakland down to a minus half a point. We'll tease Minnesota to plus three and a half. We'll tease that total in the Seattle-Carolina game to 42 and take the over. We'll tease Tampa Bay to plus two and a half and Tennessee to plus three. A $25 bet will get us $225. Good luck. Okay, and those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. YouTube's taken a lot of my subs away. And comment in the section below. I don't even think they allow the comments anymore, but uh, comment in the section below and give us a thumbs up. All right, for my good friend, Billy B, who couldn't make it this week, I am Gio. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>